Hi, right, welcome to Wine Mastery. My name is John Lightfoot. This is John Murphy. And we're going to talk to you in this episode about a wine from Slim. So this is a company that focuses on providing wines without any carbs or any added, added sugars, so low calories um, for people that you know are trying to watch their weight, maybe on a diet, and they need something just to help them, as we all do when we're on a diet, just to carry on. Um, so um, this one is their La Rossa. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but you'll see the, the, the um, label coming towards you. Um, it's, it's, it's a red. Um, the description of it suggests that you can have this chilled. Uh, we've actually not got it chilled, we've got it sort of room temperature, um, but uh, so that we can hopefully get more taste from it. But uh, we'll see what it tastes like, yeah? Well, let's have a look at the color first. Let's go for it, John. Mm -hmm. Well, that is unusual in as much as it's very quite translucent. It's light in terms of the light coming through it, yeah. um, but actually it's dark in colour. Normally when it's dark in colour, you don't get much light coming through it. It's no, a sort of very sort of black currency colour, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, like you say, light but rich, light but vivid, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. And it's got like a, for me, it's a marker, a blood red. It's a nice blood, blood red. Vein rather than artillery. Yes, artillery, yes. Artillery? Artery. Artery. Artillery is the boom. <laughs> that's exactly what it is, John. That's, exact, that's the exact difference. Um, so, should we have a go on the nose? Oh, I just did that without even thinking. I'm sorry, John. Oh. I know, I know. Sometimes we get carried away, don't we? Um, wow, now that's, that's confusing me. It's, 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 it's certainly not coming up to greet you, is it? It's, no, it's, you're it's, it's, fight. It's, um, it's been a little bit sort of... Um, Elusive. Cause yes, it's playing the old come and get me game. <laughs> As wines often do. As wines often do. <laughs> come and get me game. <laughs> <laughs> this wine is playing the come and get me game. <laughs> Has it never played that with you? No. Really? I mean, no, no, no. no, oh, right. no, no. Fortunately, not very often with me, but occasionally. Well, this one's certainly playing it with me. Fair dude, fair dude. Um, I, get, I mean, all I can really say... From that is, I know this sometimes a smell which people associate in red wine to rubber, and I'm I'm getting a hint of that. But there is there's fruit in there, but it's just fighting it out. I mean, because all I could all I could say really, that is strawberry. I think I'm more on a certainly a red fruit. I don't know if it's like red currant or raspberry. The thing is now, the more I'm, the more I'm searching for that, the more elusive it becomes. Yeah, because I think you you actually your nostril does become fatigued after a while, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And actually, I've, I, I, I did read that the reason it becomes fatigued is because you keep sniffing, and that evaporates the moisture in your nose, and 80% and of what you smell you need moisture for in your nose. So once that's, that's why aeroplanes, uh, things don't taste the same, because in an aeroplane, high altitude, very low humidity, dries out your nose, so you lose a lot of taste. It's just a, f a fountain of knowledge, isn't it? All, all it just drips from him, drips! Uh, thanks for that, John. That's a pleasure. You, I bet you're right as well. Yeah, because now I've gone back to it, I can smell it again. All right, we're going to okay. have uh, go on the old palate. On the palate, the taste. First thing I have noticed is the viscosity is very light. Mm. So I certainly understand why They've suggested maybe you would have this chill for the summer. Then you could, you could. And actually, this would probably be a great wine for someone that doesn't, you know, wants to get into red wine, doesn't mm. like red wine, and you know, is drinking white, wants to try red wine. I bet this would be a great entry for them. Yeah, well, it's, it's definitely very light. And as you say, I can understand why they would say that you could, you could chill that, you could chill that. Maybe we should try that chill sometime. Yeah. But it is very light in the tannins, very light, and it's not too. Um, it's, it's the. Um, what should I say? The, the after flavour, it's, it it's not I think very you long. normally refer that to the, as the length. Yes, but I completely lost that word then. Yeah. The length, there is a massive amount of length on there, so we're getting to, which would lend itself more towards that being um, uh, slightly chilled. Mm, I mean, I'm not getting the fruit, which I thought I would do. Um, I always change the subject when someone starts talking about the length as well. It's very difficult to, you know, when you're tasting a wine, to actually judge whether it's got any length or not. It, yeah. Yeah. It can be difficult, but um, yeah, the mouthfeel in there tells me that has just a small amount of length. But again, that sometimes for some people is a good thing. But yeah, I, I could see that chilled as it stands for me. 
again, I, I like something a little meatier. But again, when we come back to saying, you know, if you're on a diet and you do them without wine, and somebody hands you one of these, you'd go, you'd go for it. And, but the, you, you mentioned about the tan, tannin. Mm. There is that sort of, at the end, that slight acidity mm. in, in, the, in the mouth. I think, yeah, I, which I think actually you probably wouldn't, uh, would you think, I would say you wouldn't get um, that if it was chilled. No, it would completely disappear with it. I reckon that would be juicy, fruity. Yeah. Chilled. Perhaps. Obviously we want to get a little bit more of flavour out of our hands while we are at room temperature. Yeah. So it would be interesting to see what that was like, chilled. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I could actually use a wine safety pro. We could try it our next session and I'll, I'll, I'll chill it. Okay. And just add it onto the end of this particular video. Yep, yep. sounds like a plan, John. Sounds like a plan. Excellent. So pairing. Pairing, yeah. With, I won't, it wouldn't go with pears. Well, it might do. Um, but I think, I think that, again, it would be light enough. It's not going to take much on, I'd say, a light salad again, because it's not going to... Do you know what came to me? Nibbles came to me. Oh, no. this Nibbles, yeah, a little sort of... Uh, would you like um <laughs> or d'oeuvres or, 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 or to do yeah. this yeah yeah, yeah 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 no yeah okay the canapes mm. which obviously in lockdown are pretty popular oh um yes so yeah i think that'd be that'd be doable uh, that would go um can i see it taking on anything like really big and meaty though no and, and cheese wise you, I don't, probably not cheese wise soft oh, I think if, and I, white I, Jeez. I go for something white, I'd say something white and crumbly. Something fair, I don't know, it's like a, it's like, it sounds odd, it's a white Cheshire. I bet that would okay. be a really nice white Cheshire. Yeah. But then, if you're on a diet, you won't be eating a lot of cheese. Oh, no, that's true. Mm. That's true. But, you know, if you've been kind enough because maybe someone you know is on a diet, but you're not, then and you, but you've bought the wine because that means they can drink it, then maybe you could have the Cheshire while they... Well, that would be a bit unkind again, I suppose. Just scoffing it? Yeah. the chair. <laughs> you can't have this. <laughs> and it is delicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so okay. score. Because this is, I think this is Merlot and Barbarella. Barbera? Oh, you say Barbera. so much better than me. Barbera. 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 Merlot. I see. I'd be unsure what a Barbera uh, tastes like um, as a, as a um, single varietal, because I don't think I've ever tasted that. Uh, I've probably only ever had it in blends before. Uh, but looking at the Merlot side on there, that didn't really shout Merlot out to me. So, as in a score, for me, am I going first, John? You, if you, oh, I will if you wish. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to go... I'm just going to up it one from the the white one and i'm going to say 68 which is what you gave the white one purely because i would like that more than i would like the white one but still it's still still not really floating my boat as such but again that's just my opinion yeah well for the same reason um same logic should i say I'm, i was going to go to 69 um and uh, so that's not enough so you know with exactly the same logic that it mm. was just you know that much more again I, I i think that maybe if i'd been tasting this on a hot summer's day and it'd been chilled Maybe that score would have been higher. I, I may well have thought, actually, yeah, this is really, this is just right for this moment. And mm. that's one of the what, not one of the problems. It's one of the challenges, perhaps, again, the right wine is. Uh, it's not just a matter of what wine you like. It's what mood are you in at the moment? And when yeah. we're scoring, obviously, we we can't help the moods that we're in. No. Uh, and it will have an impact on on our score. Unfortunately, you try, we try to be dispassionate about that, but I'm sure it does have an influence. I. Now. Now. So, conclusion. I think in the same way that I would say I'd have a bottle of the white in the fridge, I would have a bottle of the red uh, in the rack. Yeah. Just for the same reason, because you'd be able to offer it. Um, it's another string to the bow, isn't it? Yeah, and I'd actually say I'd have another bottle of this uh, for the same reason in the summer. I don't think I'd be drinking this in the winter, but in the summer I would have a bottle and it would be in the fridge. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good yeah. call, John. Good call. Okay. Good. So, falling on, we've left it a week um, to be able to chill the wine, but obviously we didn't have time last time we were filming, and we've uh, used the Wine Save Pro in Silicon Argon Gas, which will keep it nice and fresh. So, in the fridge, it's now chilled, and we're going to taste it and see what how it comes across chilled.
Okay. Okay, John. Well, it's not going to change the colour, is it? I wouldn't imagine so. No. I'd, be, I'd be surprised. I'd be worried if it changed the colour. It's that gas. <laughs> but it hasn't, it hasn't. It hasn't nothing no. to... So let's see what it does on the nose, huh? Mm -hmm. Gamay! Like a sort of Beaujolais uh, smell. It's... Yeah. Wow, and I wasn't getting that before. I guess some like a little bit of cherry out of that. I don't think I, don't think I was getting it last week. It's, you know, it's a whole week ago, but I don't remember getting that from. No, I I, I hear we coming from with, with the gamay there. I think I'm getting a more of a kind of an I'm going to say jammy. I don't know if it's because it's oh, rancid, but yeah, it's jammy, more. Yeah. There's more in there. I, I mean, and again, I, I forget on the first one, but that smells nice and and. and, and Without sounding awful, I can't remember the first time I, I can remember not being overly impressed as such. But that that smells delicious. Yeah, I think when we when we tasted it before, it, it from memory it was a little bit sort of well nonplussed, a little bit flabby. It wasn't exciting, was it? But this is actually no, because because we've gone to this, I think from last week thinking, oh, you know, it wasn't it wasn't you know it wasn't exciting, and smelling that and thinking, whoa, you know, this this is a world away from but, that one. But that's also quite unusual, John, because usually when you, when you when you're chilling them. It takes that away. Yeah, that's right. You mm. take the chill it. Yeah. So okay, okay. All good. Should we? Should we taste? Oh, go on. Go on then. Go on then. Mmm. Wow, that is so much better. I can't believe the difference. You know, from my memory, a week ago. So we're not doing a back to back here, obviously. But from my memory, it's just this is a world. This is a world apart. This would just be like, oh, I, I don't know. I'm just so so impressed with the difference that the chilling has made to this. I'm going to stop you there, John, because I completely agree. Completely agree. But I'm going to go one step further. I mean, <clears throat> that, that little chill on there, the flavours, again, you get the jamminess is in there. And that, that's delicious enough as it is. But it's got this very nice light finish the tannins are overly um in your face there and the length isn't amazing but that I, that's perfect for a chilled red wine now i am very impressed with this i mean i, I cannot remember exactly where we came from on the first one and exactly how uh, good or bad we found it but regardless of that one this i think is an excellent chilled red wine you know we, we've spoken <clears throat> often about sitting on the lawn at the parties and with his uh, hat, you know, you know the one, um, his straw water, um, and thinking about it, if I was at a little garden party and there were, um, you know, some chilled white wines and a chilled red wine, and I knew this was, was the red wine, I would choose. I would choose that. I would choose that, and I would be very, very happy with that. I am very impressed with that as a chilled. Why, why did we decide to chill it? Was it? Did, oh, well, because uh, they recommend. Well, they didn't recommend it, but they said it's very nice chilled. As it can be chilled, so we said, well, you know, we we weren't that impressed with it um, in terms of room temperature. So we give it the chance with uh, being chilled, and it's it's certainly come through. I'm so glad we did, and uh, recommendation. Thank you so very much for that because that really has worked. As I said, I I, I would definitely choose that at the party. I mean, it's got this. There's a freshness there, but just introducing um, that that little red wine flavour, which again, if if, if if people are starting off on their red wine journey, this would be the perfect one. Your first uh, step on the rung of that ladder to get into the red wines, because th this is just a beautiful introduction. Well done, well done. I, yeah, that's how yeah. I felt well done. If you like, if you like white wine, and you know, a lot of people do like white wine, and they think, oh, you know, I'd like to get into red because you know, maybe my partner's drinking red, and I'm missing out. There's more choice if I go to red. I'd really like to get into red. Um, then yeah, you're right. This would be a fantastic introduction into that, wouldn't it? Mm. And you know, you can really just imagine. Um, do you know what? You know, I I I think you said you would prefer. This is all down to personal choice. You prefer to have this in a sort of you know, if it was an outside warm day. Uh, and, and you were drinking this. I probably still prefer white if it was in the afternoon, but if it was dusk or night and it was still a warm evening, then actually, yeah, then this would really hit the button for me. And, and something else I've not even touched on here oh. is it's, it, it's still, this is zero sugar, zero carbs, zero all that business. I can drink a lot of this without feeling guilty. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's only sort of like, I don't know, 45, uh, 50 calories or whatever um, a glass. So, yeah, it's, it's um, it hits all the buttons as far as that's concerned. I'm so pleased we chilled this. So am I. So so pleased. Good we call, this. thank you. What are we in terms of um, looking at this in, in terms of, of 
pairing with something. I mean, I would imagine if you know you were outside, you sort maybe have a little bit of uh, light ham uh, that it would pair with that. Yeah, um, I'd be with you. The antipasti style, you know, like you say, ham, olives, parma ham, that a bit, a bit of a salami. Yes, that would work beautifully. Um, and that again, well, isn't that part of a diet where you can have the kind of protein and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in in theory, John, we could drink this and eat parma ham all night, and and lose, lose weight. weight. Yeah. Hey. Sign me up. I'm in there. I, that, <laughs> this is this is a life I could uh, happily live. Yeah, no, that's 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 very nice. And of course, low on alcohol as well. So again, if it's a red, it is. Sorry, if it's a red, if it's a hot evening, uh, it's not going to give you that thundering headache, uh, sort of heady feeling. Mm. Uh, it's it's great. I'm just so so impressed. So pleased that we chilled. I must say again, you know, I can hats so, off. Well done. Well so done. let's let's so let's go to uh, to scoring, and I, I I find myself wanting to score this um, with two different heads. I, it's sort of like if I'm if I was drinking this on a winter's evening indoors, then the score would be depressed. But if I was drinking this, um, you know, in in a sort of frivolous party somewhere. He's always at frivolous parties, and I never yeah. get invited. If only, if uh, only, uh, then then actually the score would go up. So I'm going to judge my score based on the fact that you know where I would be drinking this would be on a hot uh, a hot evening um, on the lawn, chatting with friends, maybe sort of like a, you know a fire going off and fire lanterns around and the light flickering, maybe quite romantic. Actually, I'm sort of getting quite romantic here, John. I, I, you, you've not told me enough about these frivolous parties to be getting romantic. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, I, I think I would score it. Um, I would score it at 78 in those circumstances. John, I would heartily agree um, with such a thing. Again, again, coming back to this, when you think about how it ticks boxes and which boxes it's ticking, I would have to say very similar. I would, I'd say 78, 79, because it is... Whether it's because, you know, when it was uh, room temperature, it was okay. We kind of drank it and thought, it's all right. But it's really upped its game since being chilled. So maybe that's really catapulted there, in my opinion. But I'd, I'd be sitting around the same time, 78, 78 79, def, definitely. And yeah, a, jo think, a job well done. I think it's a fair point. That, yeah, because we were so sort of, uh, I don't think it's too strong a word to say that we were disappointed with it at room temperature. Um, and it's like, you know, then sort of comparison is so different. It's like really pushed us maybe on the score but you know if you're on a diet if you want an introduction to white wine if it's a warm evening get all those three together this is a must mm -hmm. okay right, so the conclusion is would you buy this yes yes i think we would buy this uh, for all the reasons for said and i think it'd be, i think it'd be a brilliant one if you were having let me say your frivolous parties but if you're having a, a party or a, a get together and you're out you were out in the garden I would love to introduce people to this. I would love to say, have you tried this? And they'll always say, oh, I, don't, I don't think I'd. And then they'll have a taste of it. Like, I'd love to see the face after having a taste of that. So, yes, uh, would I buy it again? Yes. yes. I think I said yes a few times. Uh, yes, 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 you have. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so until the next one, uh, we will be uh, uh, reviewing some more of uh, Slim Wines. Uh, they've kindly sent us uh, a, a box to taste, so we'll be getting through some more. Looking forward to those. Uh, we will obviously, as we do them, uh, sort of link to them from, from this video. And so until the next time, uh, whether it's a gin video, a whiskey video, or indeed a wine mastery video, we'll see you there. Chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs>